What's up kids? Paul Martinez, CrossFit Steel Town. Coming to you, Wad 3, push it to the limit for the Metcon game 2014. Okay, we've got most of what we're gonna do written up on this board, we're gonna go over it. Alright. The the work the wad itself is gonna include a sled push, kettlebell swings, and deadlifts. We'll see the kettlebell swings and the deadlift a little bit more on the sled push here in a minute. Alright, but so you know, the men are gonna start with two plates. 245 pound plates on the sled and they're going to work up to having four 45 pound plates on top of the sled. Women, you're going to start with one 45 pound plate, right? They're going to work up to a total of three 45 pound plates on the sled. All right, the, the kettlebell weights for the men, 53 pounds, for the women, 35 pounds. Uh, deadlift weight for the men, 145 pounds. Deadlift weight for the women, 95 pounds. Okay, you're going to have a total time cap of eight minutes. You're gonna to try to complete all the work on under eight minutes. All right, finish four time as fast as humanly possible. All right, kids. Wad number three, little diagram on the board. We're gonna go over it so you guys, we can answer all your questions. All right, you're gonna start at point A. You guys are gonna have two 45 pound plates on their sled. Ladies are gonna have one 45 pound plate on their sled. You're gonna push the sled down, cross the line. Once you cross the line, your judge says it's good. You're gonna grab a, t a kettlebell and do 10 kettlebell swings. Once you complete the 10 kettlebell swings, you're gonna jump back on the sled, push it down across this line. Once you cross the line, you're gonna have two tasks. You're gonna have a task to do, to do 10 deadlifts and a task to put an additional plate on your sled. task first. You can do the deadlifts first or you can put this plate on the sled. It's completely up to you how you do that. Once both tasks are complete, jump back on the sled, push the sled all the way down across the line. Across the line you do 10 more kettlebell swings. Once they're complete, you jump back on the sled, push the, push the sled back. Once you cross the line down here, you again have to do 10 deadlifts and then you have to add a plate. Once you're complete with those two tasks, you jump on the sled, push it down, 10 more kettlebell swings, push it back. Once you get down here the third time, all you have to do is complete 10 deadlifts. Once those 10 deadlifts are done, it's a sprint to the finish. You gotta push the sled down across the line, turn it around, come it back, bring it back. All right, all the turning of the sleds is completely on the athlete, okay? You can do it before, you can do it after the tasks are complete, completely up to you. Right, this should answer most of the questions. If you have any other questions, go ahead and ask down below. Hey guys, we're talking about the kettlebell swing standards here. First thing athletes are going to do is pick the kettlebell up, extend it up over their head, arms locked out, head through the window, hips fully extended. For the rep to count, the athlete needs to bring it back down between their legs, or set it down completely on the ground. Hi, Coach Sarah, Coach Crystal with CrossFit Steel Town, and we're reviewing the deadlift standards. The barbell must start on the floor when the athlete picks it up. They stand up with the barbell. They've had full hip extension and shoulders must be behind the bar. When the athlete sets it down in between repetitions, the barbell must touch the ground. Those are the deadlift standards. 